Okay, well, I got one coat on here. It looks like crinkle coat. So, let's see what we're up to. These jams, I want to get these bad boys painted up. So it shouldn't take a whole lot. I mean, I've got them primed up. I've got them all cleaned up and scrubbed down. And I wiped them all down with wax and grease remover, sandpaper, wax and grease remover again. I treated up and underneath. I did all that kind of stuff. So I want to get these jams painted. And everything I want to do is paint the bottom side of my trunk lid. So I've got this kind of scuffed up. I used a scrubby pad to scrub it up. Wax and grease remover first though to get all this wax and grease off the inside. Hopefully, I don't imagine anybody ever waxed the inside of this, but I cleaned it up like three or four times and it kept coming up dirty. So I just kept cleaning. Now it's, uh, this is what we got. So my next thing is gonna be shooting this thing. The door jams and for the trunk lid, I'll see what I can do. I just picked this up at Harbor Freight, four ounce adjustable detail spray gun. We're gonna see how this thing works. In my last video, I showed you guys this, which I really liked. And I sprayed the primer on this Cadillac with this. It was primer surfacer. I had to thin it down a little bit to get it through the gun. It's got a two millimeter nozzle and I really like it because it's so light and it really worked nice. It shot a nice pattern. Once I figured out not to uh, leave this closed down, open that right up so it gets air. So all that to say, I'm gonna try this for the door jams because it's a nice little gun. I should be able to get in there a little bit easier with any luck. Once I get the cup on there, I should be able to you know, get in there and spray the jams. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get this put together. We'll see how it works. So this little gun comes in a nice package. Not that that matters a whole lot. Comes with the gun, comes with the cup that screws onto the side of the gun with this uh, kind of a compression fitting looking thing. More like a, actually a flare fitting. Little .6 nozzle on it, that's millimeters. And I got instructions, a little cleaning brush, and and the cheesiest little tiny wrench in the world. So we got all that stuff, we got this. So I'm gonna throw this thing together and let's see if we can make, spray some paint with it. I gotta figure out a way to put a stand on this so I can fill the cup with a strainer and the gun actually stays on a stand. So not sure what I'm gonna do. I got to think this one out a little bit. Hmm, maybe a clamp thing that'll just clamp onto this and hold it. Ah, gotta put my little thinking cap on. Well, it looks like I solved my little problem. This is sitting here fairly good. I don't like the way that's tipped, but I won't fill it up to the top anyway. So that I think that's rugged enough it'll stay. I can hold a strainer. I'm only gonna mix up a pretty small quantity. I'm not adding harder to this because I'm not worried about sunshine so much. It's gonna be in the door jams. So I just assume, I think it'll be fine without hardener. And um, it's gonna be under the trunk lid. So it's not places that are gonna get a lot of sunlight that'll burn it out. And I think the hardener helps mostly with that. So I'm gonna start mixing up a little bit, bit of paint. I'm just gonna mix it by eye. Kind of outside running the dozer, you can hear it. So I shook this paint up. This is left over from the Farmall M. So yes, this is going to be red, very red. And since I'm not putting hardener in it, when I'm done mixing, I, I can if I want, I'll just dump it back in the can. It'll just be thinned down a little bit. So this is pretty, pretty stiff stuff, pretty thick. Look at the viscosity. Tell by the way it's coming off that. This is called reducer. This is basically an acrylic enamel paint. Back in the day, a thousand years ago, when I used to actually paint stuff once in a while, more often, I used acrylic enamel. I'm talking about the 80s, the early 80s. I think I screwed up. I think I put way too much thinner in there. Well, let me mix it up. We'll see. I'm going to... Keep stirring, stirring, and stirring until I see. I do have a little more paint I can add if I have to, but I think I went overboard. Eh, maybe not so much. I think it's gonna come out okay. Well, I've been stirring and stirring and stirring and stirring some more for quite a while, believe it or not. Not a couple minutes, not for like an hour or anything like that, but I think I've got the consistency I want. I didn't add any more. It may actually be a little bit on the thin side, but I think this is gonna work. It's gotta be pretty thin just to get through that gun. So on this job, I'm gonna try this stuff. Adhesion promoter. I'm a little bit worried about where I may not have got it scuffed up enough. So this is like uh, cheating a little bit, sand in a can, you know. They used to make other stuff like this. Jam it was one product it was called and it used to spray it on it. Kind of breaks in and softens the paint a little bit so that the next coat sticks. I'm gonna give it a try. All right, now I'm gonna hit this with a little bit of adhesion promoter, but I'm just dusting it on. I'm not going crazy. Kind of like over the top, little fan work. It kind of, I don't like the way it comes out of here. It comes out of this can in a stream. And that's really not what I want. Well, the alarm went off. My time's up. Got a brand new mask. Ooh, and it even fits. Take it better than that. All right, look. Okay, let's do some spray. I don't know, this is really slow. Barely putting any paint on. If I have to do three coats with this, let me show you how slow it is right here.
There you go, very sparse first coat. I, it's light there. That little gun, I decided I'm gonna go to a regular full-size gun, finish it out, because there's no way I'd even get close to getting the trunk lid done with that little tiny gun. So I went in and I hit the places with the little gun where I knew I couldn't get in good with the big gun, and now I'm gonna follow up a second coat with the big gun, and I gotta do a first coat on, on this because I didn't even try with that little gun. It would take me a day and about four gun loads to paint that. It really is tiny. You know, it is what it is. There's one coat on pretty much everything jam-wise. So I'm just gonna switch over to this bigger gun right here. This guy. I think that works okay. We'll give it a try. Okay, well, I got one coat on here. It looks like crinkle coat. You can probably even see it in the camcorder. It's all crinkly. I'm gonna see if I can put a nice heavy coat on there. And then I'll call it good enough no matter what happens. But I guess the cat's out of the bag. This car is gonna be international form all red. Okay, I'm crazy. I think I'm out of my mind. Go ahead, put it in the comments. Let me know. Let me know what you think. It's like a basically blood red. <laughs> I think if I bled on it, you couldn't see the difference. So that's what this car is going to be with a black top. And if I do a fairly decent paint job, it'll be a gloss black top. I don't know, maybe I ought to do flat black. Let me know in the comments. Anyway, got to finish up. I just took this gallon of paint off the shaker and we're going to mix up another batch. Seems to be taking quite a bit of paint, so I'll probably fill this about half full and then thin it, so I'm going to have about a quarter, so I'm not adding hardener to this because it's just going to be in the jams and stuff, so I'm not worried about it setting up. It's paint that I'll put back in this empty can. We'll save it. We'll use it, and uh, if we do it on the exterior of the car, it's going to get hardener in it, so it shines better. Might as well get cracking. All right, we're going to get mixing up some more paint. Here we go. I hate pouring out of a gallon like this. I'm always worried about spilling like crazy, but so far I really haven't, but who knows? There's always the first time. <laughs> Scared myself. Okay, that's enough. Yeah, I kind of dribbled a bit, but man, it's hard to pour this stuff without doing that. Rag, might as well wipe it up a little bit before I continue on. So the only way this welding table is gonna get painted is if I spill paint on it. Lid back on there for now. Get out some reducer. Let's see if I guess right the first time, get a good mix. Yeah, that much, that much, that much. Okay, let's see what happens. This paint's kind of, kind of thick. Actually, this is a little thinner, that older paint, Seem thicker. But here I am again, using old junky paint. That's probably why I got crinkle coat over there. Ooh, this is much thinner. But I think this is gonna work out nice. Oh yeah, that looks about right. If I was, when I'm doing the whole car, I'm gonna do all the mixing by the book. But right now, the way I'm looking at that sheening off the mix stick, I'm pretty sure that'll go through the gun just fine. All right, time to load up the gun and get cracking again. So I still have a little bit of paint in the gun. There's like a, I don't know, probably enough to fill that little teeny gun. But there's enough in the gun, I'm gonna dump it in here and mix it all together, make it one homogenous paint mix. That was a little thicker in there, but not much. Not enough to bother anything. Okay, time to fill up the old gun. Hopefully I don't spill it now. I'm always worried about spilling this stuff. But it's so darn expensive. And I'm not gonna fill the gun. I got it about half full and that's good enough for me right now. Clean it now or clean it later. So the only bummer about using that little gun is now I've got two guns to clean up tonight. All right, looks like I'm all set to go. I got my vent there. Looks like that ought to work. Should be good to go. Let's see what happens. Okay, oh, camcorder powered off. Anyway, doesn't look too bad. It looks pretty good and candy-like, doesn't it? Nice, shiny, ooh, looks like acrylic enamel to me, where it just has that, it has that look. Uh, I kind of was in a panic because I ran out of paint right about here. Ran over, mixed up some more, and sprayed again. Reason being, you don't want to wait till one part dries. If you come up with wet paint after stuff's dried, you got to do the whole part again. Otherwise, you'll have just dry overspray stuck to the paint. It'll dull it and make it look horrible. So, 
I got away with it because it was still wet enough when I got back with my new mix of paint to what melted in. So it looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. It's not perfect. Uh, looks like it's got some dirt in it, oddly. Looks like there's a dry spot right through here. It's not horrible, but it's under the trunk lid. So actually, if I got the whole car to have this kind of look to it, that sheen and shine, I'd be happy with that. So anyway. I got the door jams all done. Hopefully I didn't miss any too many spots. Looks like I got it all. I did notice I, I should have got back behind these a little bit better, but I'm not gonna panic over that. Uh, maybe I'll go after it with a red marker or something because if I spray it, I'll be back to spraying a whole other coat. Now I do got to spray right here again. I got one more coat to put on here because I forgot about it and I just hit it quick with a first coat. I turned the gun down to where it was a narrower pattern and I cranked the knob down so it was shooting less paint and I went ahead and, and did that. Don't have to go crazy on that. I just want to get some paint on it yes i know this is all rusted uh i really don't know what to do with that i got paint on it it hopefully it's gonna last a long long time uh if not it doesn't i don't know what else to say you know because you know, I, I just can't fix everything where's the fun in that so the old girl's starting to look like she's gonna come together yep now i got two guns to clean i'll be jumping on that in a minute right after i put the second coat on this which i think is going to be right about now Okay guys, that looked too bad. Got it on there, it's pretty nice and shiny too. I had to slow it down a little, I was going too fast. And you start going too fast and it leaves it kind of dry. Dry looks dull, so we don't want that. Pretty much got it looking fairly good uh, for the most part. It's not perfect again, but not bad. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Like, share, subscribe. See you guys in the next one.